Okay, so let's talk about insulin, shall we? So when we eat a meal that contains carbohydrates, your blood sugar begins to increase. Since blood sugar cannot go into your cells directly, it needs insulin. Your pancreas senses the rise in blood sugar and releases insulin in response. Insulin then binds to cells, which signals them to absorb the sugar from the bloodstream. Insulin is also referred to as the key that unlocks the cells to allow sugar to enter and be used for energy. If you have more sugar than your body needs, insulin helps store it in the liver or muscle in the form of glycogen. This way, when your blood sugar levels become low, you will have extra stores in your liver that can be released back into your bloodstream. Now the role of insulin is to regulate blood sugar levels and keep them at a normal range. Every time blood sugar rises, your pancreas will secrete more insulin. The problem arises when insulin becomes chronically elevated in the body. Insulin happens to be the main fat storage hormone in the body and it tells fat cells to store fat and it prevents stored fat from being broken down to energy. So think about it this way. Insulin can only be present in the body if we have elevated blood sugar. We can only have elevated blood sugar if we've recently consumed a meal. Therefore, if we are in an energy surplus from recently consuming a meal, insulin gets released to store this available energy. The last thing the body will want to do is break down its energy stores in the form of fat for energy because we already have energy. When people are obese or chronically eating a diet filled with processed foods and fast burning carbohydrates, insulin is constantly being released by the pancreas. Now eventually, our cells stop responding to the increase in insulin. So in other words, the cells become resistant or kind of numb to the increased insulin. Now when this happens, the increase still does its job by detecting more and more increase in blood sugar and then it releases more and more insulin into the bloodstream to bring the blood sugar levels back down. The problem is that the insulin receptors on cells don't respond and are not sensitive to the rise in insulin anymore. They become what we call insulin resistant. And the end result is chronically high amounts of insulin in the blood and chronically elevated blood sugar as well. Do you think this person is going to be able to use its fat stores? Not a chance. They are in constant energy surplus mode and the chronic elevated insulin levels in the body will not allow the breakdown of fat stores, resulting in a person getting more and more obese. This also leads to a chronic release of stress hormones, putting your body in a chronic stress response. These hormones increase heart rate, cardiac output, and blood pressure. This also causes the hippocampus of the brain to shrink and decreases your ability to sleep. You'll get tension headaches, have decreased sex drive, get low levels of growth hormone, and continue to crave sugar and unhealthy fats. Now the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, the Journal of Applied Physiology, and the Journal of Nutritional Biochemistry all state that a significant reduction in insulin resistance happens with intermittent fasting. By stopping the development of insulin resistance through intermittent fasting, it will prevent every other chronic disease out there, especially metabolic syndrome, type two diabetes, and heart disease. In fact, people who are insulin resistant have a 93% greater risk of developing heart disease, the leading cause of death in the whole world. Now, intermittent fasting gives our body a break from eating throughout the day, turning our bodies from an energy surplus machine into an energy deficit machine. So when we take a break from constantly feeding our body, our blood sugars begin to normalize. When we don't have an increase in blood sugar, we will not release insulin. Now since insulin prevents fat stores from being burned, we will finally give our body a chance to actually burn stored fat around the midsection and start to build up our insulin sensitivity again. So when we build up our insulin sensitivity, we will begin to prevent every single chronic disease out there, reducing our chances of heart disease by what? 93%.